Hey guys, welcome to the Elden Ring Guide for Castleborn. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get there, how to start its quest line, and the really great thing about this castle is that it's a much easier dungeon than the boss fight in Stormvale or Margate. So you may have been really struggling to defeat Margate, or maybe you beat Margate already and the Stormvale dungeon is just way too hard. Um, I really recommend going in this direction and checking this one out. It really feels like it was designed to be the sort of real first dungeon in the game. And I think I think a lot of people are just under this misconception that because the light from the grace points you to Margit, points you to the Stormvale Castle, that that necessarily implies that it's like okay, this is the first quest. Like, this is what I should be doing first. I think it's better to think of it like the game is telling you that this is your first uh, major goal, and you're actually going to have to make a lot of progress elsewhere in the world before you start taking that on. So think of Margit and Stormvale as a kind of like barometer or a test to see how like how far you're progressing. You'll notice I'm highlighting some uh, items, some of the fast travel points that you can find along the way as we run here straight from the tutorial book. Just wrap right around the uh, southeast corner. Now right here is the NPC who's actually going to give you the quest that you can complete in Castleborn. So make sure that you talk to her uh, before you finish this route. We have a lot of good items to pick up along the way here. Uh, I'm going to take a quick detour around the corner to show you another fast travel point. And you should take note that if you explore this part of the map, the uh, Weeping Peninsula, you're going to find a lot of good stuff. You're going to find... Um, upgrades for your flasks. I think there's three uh, sacred tiers that you can get in this location. There's a lot of um, good items for mages and intelligence builds around here as well. And then when we actually get into the castle, you're going to find a lot of items that are um, super important for strength builds. So we're going to run around this world boss. Um, now this boss only spawns at night. And it also spawns on the bridge that is south, I believe, of the gate front. By the way, I really recommend marking all the merchants that you find on the map because it can be easy to forget where they are. You see that uh, obelisk I was pointing the camera at uh, down there. That's where you're going to get the map fragment to actually fill in the map for the, uh, for the whole Weeping Peninsula. So here's <laughs> two world bosses and then this giant archer. Um, it's pretty crazy. I don't think I've, uh, I've, I've never encountered either the Deathbird or the Knight's Cavalry um, coming this way before. I didn't, I didn't know that uh, it could 
even spawn over here until I did this to make the video. So you're going to see here, guys, this is the main entrance to the castle. So really all you need to do is run around the southeast corner of the tutorial building and just keep going south, and you really can't miss it. Um, and that's really all I have to say. I'm just going to show you, you know, if you want to keep watching at the end of the video, if you are looking for a strength weapon, I'm going to show you where you can just run up and get one here. You can sneak past all the enemies. You don't have to fight anything. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching.